Hello, Connie Krupp from Wellness for Life Coaching. Today, I want to talk about our healthcare system because our healthcare system is broken. I have two nurse friends and they're married to doctors and they're all ready to quit. The incentive for doctors to sit and listen to clients has completely disappeared. It's a negative incentive and they're punished for slowing down. The point is... Um, it's obvious that there are some gaps in our medical system, and the current medical model does not always know how to assess or treat chronic conditions. It doesn't work um, for things like autoimmunity and many, many illnesses, and that brings us to many other gaps. There's a gap in the medical model. There's a gap in care. There's a gap in understanding, and there's a gap in trust between the client and the doctor. Clients often do not know how to take care of themselves between their doctor visits because of a gap in guidance. Ultimately, there's a price to pay for a client who falls into these gaps, and often that price is continued physical and mental and emotional suffering of being misdiagnosed or underdiagnosed or continually having to live with the signs and symptoms that nobody seems to know how to resolve. Did you know that there are over 100 diseases considered to be autoimmune and it's growing all of the time? You know many of them. They're Crohn's, colitis, rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, Hashimoto, thyroiditis, psoriasis, multiple sclerosis, type 1 diabetes, and many, many more. The conditions um, can impact all systems of the body and they're chronic and they're life-threatening. It's the fourth cause of disability in the U.S. and the eighth leading cause of death. And two-thirds of the doctors that were interviewed in a study, and any of you that are interested in, I can send you that, they feel inadequately trained in the care of the chronically ill. Specialists are generally unaware of autoimmune disease or advances in treatment outside of their own area or their own specialty. And more and more doctors are just becoming specialists because there's so much to learn for about each area. And mainstream medical approaches, pills and protocols, protocols serve only um, as a band-aid and they fail to address the larger problem leading to clients who get sicker and sicker and a medical system that can no longer survive the magnitude of this dilemma. It's an injustice to all of us. Don't get me wrong, medicine has come a long way. Medication sell, uh, saves lives and is needed. I worked as a lab and x-ray technician and as a doctor's assistant for many years. I saw so many miracles and I saw so many good things happen. It was the time when doctors spent time with clients and they listened and they were able to treat the symptoms. In fact, our healthcare system has gotten better at saving lives and fixing acute care issues. That's wonderful. I know without question that I wouldn't want to change anything about those advancements. And the upgrades in modern medicine are miraculous. The people who aren't being helped by these miraculous medical advancements are the chronically ill and the folks with these autoimmune diseases. And this population is suffering and growing quickly. Doctors are not taught about the connections between illness and nutrition, exercise, sleep, hydration, and our relationships. They're taught to diagnose and treat with surgery and medications, and they aren't taught how to get to the root cause of most of the illnesses. And that's where a functional nutrition counselor comes in. And we can fill that gap. We're taught to assess, to recommend, and to track a client's symptoms and get to the root cause of the illness. And these are the steps that we take. So first of all, a client fills out a 20-minute, or I mean, um, we schedule a 20-minute free consultation. And then um, if we both feel that we're the right fit for each other, then the, uh, an appointment is set up. And in the meantime, the client fills out a very in-depth client intake form. It's important that I get to know them and know as many of their issues. They also keep track of their food, their mood, and their elimination for a week so that we can see how their digestion is working. And then based on those assessments, um, I make some recommendations and the client decides if they want to continue with me or not. So we start, if they decide, we start with the non-negotiables. First of all, we start with an elimination diet. We eliminate dairy, sugar, and gluten, and then lots and lots of good fruits and vegetables and um, grass-fed organic foods for two weeks. And we keep track of how they feel and how their elimination is and how everything's going. And then we examine their sleep patterns. And I recommend ways to get a good night's sleep. We examine the stress level and then, again, recommend ways to lower the stress 
look at how they're being hydrated and recommend ways to get more water into your body. And then we look at the relationships and ways that they get support for whatever's going on in their lives. Then the next thing, once we've we've um, balanced that out, most people are do really well. And we may or may not end at that point. Um, we set action plan. I help keep them accountable. We check in regularly, again, as often as the client wants to check in. Weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, whatever works for them. And next, we'll uncover and address deficiencies. And I recommend herbs and vitamins and supplements as needed. Um, I have two years of training in this area. I also have four nutritionists and three doctors that I work with so I can always get advice from them. And then we next, the next thing we do is we examine any dysfunction in the client's life and dismantle those so that the client can live a normal, healthy life. So that's a quick overview. Um, hopefully some of you can take advantage of that. If you're interested, please go to my website, wellnessforlifecoaching.com. And that's the number four and set up a free consultation. Can't wait to talk to you. Take care. Bye.